To set up the system controller, first open the box and remove the box with the system controller backup battery and the backup battery installation components and set it aside. The backup battery will be installed after device implant once the sterile field has been taken down. Open the system controller outer tray and pass the inner tray to the sterile field. Remove the controller and place it on the sterile field. Pass the two system controller power cable ends out of the sterile field, securing them to the drape. Then connect them to the bifurcated ends of the power module patient cable, white to white, and black to black. Both the power module and the system controller will then indicate a hazard alarm condition, signifying that the system controller is powered but not connected to the LVAD. The clinical screen will appear on the system monitor. Verify that HM3 and a flashing communication icon are shown in the lower left-hand corner of the system monitor screen, indicating that the system monitor is communicating with the system controller and that the correct monitoring software is running. The clinical screen display will indicate four dashes for mode and speed set point, driveline disconnected, pump off, and low flow alarm messages, and two buttons, pump start and silence alarm. The plus sign on the alarms banner indicates that additional alarms are active. They can be viewed on the alarm screen. The hazard alarms can be silenced for two minutes by pressing the silence alarm button on the lower right hand corner of the screen. The button will reappear after completion of the silence period if alarm conditions are still present. Press the Alarms tab to activate the alarm screen. Then press the Extended Silence button in the lower right corner to ensure that all hazard and advisory audible alarms will be silenced for four hours in the OR. The alarm silence will indicate Extended. This can later be canceled by pressing the Silence Alarm button on the system controller and is verified by the alarm silence indicating Off. Go to the Admin screen and verify the date and time are correct on the system monitor. Then set the date and time in the system controller by either pressing the Sync button to synchronize it to the system monitor date and time or the Modify button to enter the date and time. Next, open and pass the modular cable inner tray onto the sterile field. Remove the cable from the tray and push the modular cable cap onto the end of the modular cap. Press firmly until the connector bottoms inside the cap. The cap protects the connector from fluids and debris. To connect the modular cable to the system controller, line up the arrows and insert the cable into the socket until it clicks into place. Gently tug on the end of the connector to ensure the cable is fully engaged. Important, the arrow and alignment mark on the modular cable will no longer be visible when the cable is properly connected. Then close the safety lock on the back of the system controller. System controller setup is now complete. The driveline disconnected alarm message will remain until the system controller is connected to the LVAD. The pump off and low flow alarm messages will remain until the LVAD is turned on with the system monitor pump start command. And the system controller backup battery not installed alarm will remain active until the backup battery is installed in the controller prior to leaving the operating room.